James met online after a chance comment from Meryn on TikTok sparked a con- God damn, you know she's a goddamn nigga at heart. Look at her nails. Bro, this bitch just got straight cuticles, bro. God, look at her thumb. Oh my God. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, got all my ad, put the rest in the safe. Where the scale? I'm back trapping the day. I'm getting back in that action today. I can't see these little niggas the rest in the way. Uh, can't see these little niggas the rest in the way. Yeah, can't see these little niggas the rest in the way. Hey, man. Hey, man. I just can't stop looking at crazy shit. Bro. I think I'm addicted. He's feminine. I'm masculine, my nigga. And we're in love. Love don't judge. Basically, bro. Give y'all a little backstory on these motherfuckers. <laughs> this white bitch is basically the man in the relationship. Yep. Why am I explaining? Niggas finna go in this bitch blind, nigga. Just like me, fuck it. This I just know the thumbnail was goddamn, fuck it. This is Merrin. She fell in love with James. I, I gotta see the origin on these motherfuckers. How in the fuck does this happen? Hey, love don't judge, though. My nigga. We have we can have our opinions. We can have fucking I don't know. But one thing you can't do is hate or judge, my nigga. It's these motherfuckers' lives. This nigga James, what in the fuck happened? I'm a masculine presenting woman. And I am a feminine presenting straight man. <laughs> I guess people Wait, I just realized But I mean So he's straight but he just Kinda on some Bruce Jenner shit Kinda but not nah, he didn't he didn't take it there yeah. So he's straight, but he just likes feminality. Perceive us as weird as a couple because we don't follow the regular status quo. We don't look like how they want us to look. The couple met through TikTok, and despite not being each other's usual type, I was identifying as gay because it was easier than explaining all the ins and outs of who I was. I've only dated girls in the past. The most frequent question we get is, who is the woman? Or like, who is the girl? <laughs> who is the boy? Who is and the man? Hi. I mean... I miss, I miss you. How's your flight? Fine. I'm Hi, I'm Marin. This nigga has on eyelashes, bro. Like I said, bro, we can have our opinions. We can we can have what, you know what I'm saying? We can say what we want. But you can't judge or hate, my nigga. You can't. It is day life. How the fuck you go tell a nigga how to live day life, my nigga? But boy, goddamn. And this is my boyfriend, James. I'm a masculine presenting woman. And I am a feminine presenting straight man. Merrin and James met online after a chance comment from Merrin on TikTok sparked a con- God damn, you know she's a goddamn nigga at heart. Look at her nails. Bro, 
This bitch just got straight cuticles, bro. God, look at her thumb. Oh my God. What the fuck? Between the pair. I was posting different pictures of myself, like dress femme, dress mask, and I had commented on this other masking girl's TikTok who was talking about how she thought that femme men were cute. And I was like, oh my God, girl, you're talking about me, honey. And then I saw his comment under that video. That's how I got to his profile. And then I saw his videos and I was like, I'll just flirt with him just for fun. But I was also thinking in my head, like, this is just gonna be a fun little thing that happens for a couple days and then it'll be over with. Mm -hmm. I never thought that it would be I a the real same thing. thing. With a connection this strong, Marin and James were keen to meet. And even after their first date, this couple knew their relationship was going to be something special, despite not being each other's usual type. I mean, hi. Yeah. He likes to make the jokes. Yo, I'm sorry, current. Just turn it up. I... But I came out the womb masculine because Honey was wearing boy clothes in elementary school. So I've only I've only dated girls in the past. I'm very much attracted to the femininity as a whole. I love that just his energy is very feminine. Like sometimes he'll like like this is not the little jacket's not feminine, but the way he's acting is feminine. I just... <laughs> My sexuality was all over the place. Very much. In high school, I was like this full straight, like almost hyper-masculine version of myself where like I was still one of the girls. However, I was pulling girls. And then I got to college and I was like, yeah, that ain't it. <laughs> Not for me. So I was identifying as I'm flabbered. Gay like I have nothing to say. I'm then explaining all the ins and outs of who I was. Like never really just jumped all in with a man. I, I never had any interest in doing that. So when the world went on shutdown in 2020, I was on TikTok constantly, like everybody was. And I was like, oh my God, these TikTok lesbians are so fine. So that's like the first time I was exposed to like masculinity through a woman. Now, Marin and James have been dating long distance for over a year. Oh, Marin does the cooking. Yeah. I have cooked. One time. I cooked for Valentine's Day. Yes. And it was bomb. Sometimes I come on a Saturday and I'll leave on a Monday. So I'm here for a good little minute. I guess people perceive us as weird as a couple because we don't follow the regular status quo. And we Not don't weird. look like how they want us to look or how they would expect us to look. I'm hungry as hell. Mm. You were hungry. Nothing is ever truly yours. I'm glad that we're eating now because I feel like we would have had to wait a long time at Nice Guys. Now I say, I have a girlfriend. That's the end of that's the end of the, the that's the response. I have a girlfriend. So why do you dress the way that you do? Because I like it. I like to be cute. Period. Made the first TikTok August 6th of 2021 in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. So I like made, I posted all these pictures of us together. Okay. And I woke up the next morning and we had over a million views and I said, babe, this is not happening. I think people saw in the video that I had on stilettos and she looked like a boy. I was finna say like, how the fuck did this nigga get fucking, what, what the hell is called? Damn box braids, nigga? But I forgot he had a he had a little 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 sponge, bro. My fault, my fault, G. Beginning, people would say like they're just best Should friends. I say G? They're or doing my this. Oh, yeah. Goddamn. Most frequent question we get is who is the woman or like who is the girl? Who is the bro, boy? Who nigga? Is... We all know who the bitch and who's the nigga, bro. Nigga, he's the female, she's the man, bro. Like niggas just be trying to be funny, but we know my nigga, like. Nobody's asking that shit, like, for real asking, bro. They're playing with you, bro. And it was so frequent. We were like, how stupid would that be if we made a YouTube video with the title, Who's the Woman? Who is the woman? <laughs> she identifies as a woman. I identify as a man. The only Freaking. thing different is our presentation. But it has, like, 40,000 40, views. 40,000 views. <laughs> I don't, I want to wear my white heels.
Should I do that one? Or should I do this one? I like this little tiny one. It's literally, it's very much like a mix of masculine and feminine. Because like, I don't like to wear dresses and shit like that, but I love a flowing garment, honey. Like a long flowing garment is gonna get me every time. But at the same time, I'm not gonna put on a ball gown. No, that's not me. Marin likes to match me. I, I do. <laughs> Marin, Marin will, Marin, Marin will inadvertently watch me get dressed first, just so she can see what I'm gonna put on, so she can match me without asking. It sounds very like streetwear. Yeah, for sure. Like I'll have on a stiletto, and she wants to wear Jordans every time. Bro, what the? Fuck? There is no big hoopla around our relationship. We are really just two people that dress differently, but the rest of our relationship is the same. And I feel like, because none of our friends, like, ever felt like the way people are commenting on our TikToks. They're like, it's so regular, like, it's so normal, which it is. We just dress differently. <laughs> I don't mind our relationship being public just because I feel like we get I like being recognized in public. It's fun. I mean, we really only show what we want. Yeah. Don't like, let me find out these motherfuckers is attention seeking. You know what I'm noticing a lot in these crazy ass shits? From from the nigga with the goddamn eighty foot nails to fucking. The nigga who lives in 1946. List, the list goes on, my nigga. These motherfuckers like the attention that they get. And it's weird to me. It's very weird to me. They don't see the entire of our relationship. These niggas have took the words. I, I, I have at this point. Yeah. This is yeah, another quiet jokes video. And curiosity. It's not like f you. You don't deserve to be alive. No, right. we what? Like that. What? We hate at what? this point. Yeah. What? Like it's fun. I mean, we really only show what we want. Yeah. Like they don't see the entirety of our relationship. I don't know if it will be hate at this point. Yeah. More just like jokes and curiosity. It's not like, F you, you don't deserve to be alive. No, right. we don't get that. Yeah, I knew about their relationship, um, seeing it on TikTok. I mean, everybody did. I think Marin and James's relationship works because they have really open communication. I feel like if either of them have an issue, they're just very open and can talk to each other about it. Yeah, I feel like since seeing this relationship, I feel like people can be made for each other, you know? Being in this relationship has taught me that there's a wide spectrum when it comes to like sexuality and all that it encompasses. It's not just straight gay by honey, it's so much more. Honestly, I think this relationship taught me that there was a lot more fluidity to me than I thought. To anyone who is judgmental of us or doesn't approve, I really don't care. You're paying a bill. Um, you're paying my light bill. <laughs> and I'm cashing the check. And I'm laughing at your comment anyways because either it was funny or it was dumb enough to where it wasn't funny. And I'm still laughing. So, yeah. Love that for you. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn, white screen of death, my nigga. We ain't goddamn seen each other in a little minute, my nigga. Hey, man. What in the fuck? Y'all think this shit real? I, it gotta be. <laughs> but no cap, though. Like, I don't even want to think about this, but it, I feel like it, it, we gotta bring it up, my nigga. Who, who y'all think be getting fucked? <laughs>